Sometimes bad things happen. Black walnuts lose their leaves early in the fall. My 1963 Corvair's transmission dropped out th two years ago and I can't drive it anymore. And this morning, before I got up, Ozzy, our cattle dog, got skunked. In a moment, I'll turn the show over to Sheila, who's going to clean Ozzy the cattle dog. Turn around, Sheila, and show him that beautiful jacket. That lab coat is from when I used to be an anthropologist and wore it to dissect things like gorillas. I would say 40 years ago, almost. And Sheila, explain to me what you're going to do here. What's in that bucket? Well, Ozzy got stung at 5.45 this morning. I am dressed in double um, gloves, because they're going to be thrown away. Shower cap, because if he shakes, I do not want it on my hair. Euro coat, throw away pants, throw away shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and because I didn't really care for how PetSmart got him clean last time he got skunked almost a year ago, I went online and looked at recipes. And there seems to be a lot of recipes that involve hydrogen peroxide, um, good old Dawn dish soap and baking soda. So I've got uh, a double recipe. I mixed double it in here. And you're supposed to lather it on the dog. It's like 40 degrees out here. And let it sit for about 20 minutes. Hopefully he's not going to die of hypothermia. And we'll just see how it goes. All right, Ozzy? Because you stink. What's in the recipe, Sheila? Tell us. I did. I just, I just did. How much? The quantities? Oh, two quarts of hydrogen peroxide. Uh, half a cup of baking soda and about two tablespoons of dish soap. Luckily, we're not going to eat or drink that stuff like we are the brownies I have cooking right now in the oven. I'm going to try soaking his leash to see if that makes a difference for his collar. All right, Ozzy, you ready? Laddie ah. got skunked worse last time. He had to be shampooed like four times, something like that. This is not going to be fun for you, buddy. This stuff Ozzy hates. Good boy, Oz. Good boy. I'm just going to do this rubbing for the whole 20 minutes. Are you? Yeah. Just keep rubbing it in, rubbing it in. Laddie, get away. No. Laddie. Come here. We're not done yet, bud. Ozzy got her. Come here. Sheila's chosen, rather than let Ozzy just sit for 20 minutes before we hose him off, she's chosen to massage that stuff into his fur for the full 20 minutes. Well, I think it keeps him warmer, too. <laughs> well, that's true. It's okay. It's all right. Laddie's not that interested now. Good boy, Ozzy. Was much too smart to ever get skunked. Kuro, get it, get it, get it. Come here.
Kuro. Meow. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, they do that to keep the mites and stuff out of there. Off them, Sheila. Okay, there's the last of the mix. And there she blows! Sheila gets the uh, hose out and Laddie's moving far away. Broken, Sheila. All right. Time to hose all those chemicals off Ozzy. Everybody's interested in watching this. There's Kuro. Doesn't want to get too close though. And there's Laddie. He doesn't get too close either. This is probably the part he hates the most. Clearly. Come here, come here, come here. Come on. Keep going. Bad boy. Ha <laughs> ha, there she blows. <laughs> Okay, notice uh, he's been rinsed off. Now we're moving him to a different location where he's going to get a shampoo and get rinsed off again. And more shampooing on this beautiful, beautiful autumn day. Oh boy, he looks cold. He's getting as far from you as he can. Now the shampoo gets rinsed off Ozzy. If you're going to try this at home, don't forget she's wearing clothes that she can throw away if she has to. My dissection coat, double rubber gloves, and a hairnet. And part of that's because he's going to do things like shake stuff all over the place. <laughs> he's going to hide underneath you, <laughs> from you. <laughs> Sheila, he's tricking you. You got the hose around the tree now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's why we're a shower cap. <laughs> That's why I'm staying 15 feet away. Yeah, now you're all tangled up here. Come here. Come hey, here. can't go anywhere now. Come on, get out of there. The back porch again. The back porch just stinks like skunk. He'll stink from that. <laughs> oh. Come here, Ozzy. Almost done, babe. Let's get you at it one more time. Come here, this is a good boy. Okay. Oh. Shake, Ozzy. Shake, 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 shake. He says, forget the shake, shake bring the warm the towels. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, boy. See, also, there is no place dry to lay on, Sheila. You can go in the kitchen. It'll just close off the rest of the house. Yeah. You're that confident that he's clean and not stinky? I'm give him a good whiff test in a second. Uh, laddies just stand just far enough away not to get too involved. Did I mention the last time Laddie's the one that got it right in the face? He stunk for months. Oh, we well, didn't like, know this technique. Like shampoo. Oh yeah? Good sniff test? Yeah, he smells good. Oh, that's a great recipe. I like it. Well, we'll be back after he dries off and we're sure. But so far, it looks like it works. 
Let's let's see one final sniff test, yeah, Sheila. Is Ozzy a clean boy? So our house. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and we are safe from the skunk odor. It smells great. Yay! 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 Yes, we have a pretty nice yard, don't we? That's actually this golf course over there. And there's Sheila Nazi. Poor laddie, he's been left behind. But he can't keep up with them when they run. Laddie! Laddie! Clean Ozzie.